years when the railways budget used to be presented separately, the one uh, item number that we used to be looking on for was the operating ratio and it was a given that it would deteriorate. For journalists, it used to just be a matter of finding the latest number and the flash line on television screens used to be ready. You just had to put in that negative number, knowing fully with that it will uh, deteriorate. The second thing that we used to look for was how many new projects uh, or railway lives have been executed even as previous ones have remained uh, incomplete. And the third element used to be how much freight charges have been raised because industry participants and people who are here would look at the negative impact on their balances. This seems to be changing. However, uh, one of the details that I noticed from the presentation was that uh, as far as a percentage is concerned, only 50% uh, is the target as uh, in the long term uh, to uh, for, for uh, you know, reserved passengers. 50% of your total birth capacity is proposed to remain reserved and it will rise from 37 odd percent now. I want to ask you, Mr. Prabhu, um, this, this aim of uh, reservation, a reserved birth on demand, on tap, um, is something that you have spoken about in the past also. When do you think uh, that kind of scenario uh, can emerge for the traveling public in this country? When do you think reservation will be available on tap, on demand, sir? Of course, I'm very happy that my colleague has already done a presentation, so some of these points that he has addressed. But just to tell, tell you, why which he made a presentation, I'll just repeat that point for everybody to understand. Why is that we are not able to give reservation on demand? This is supply-demand mismatch. Why there is a supply-demand mismatch? Our, that number again, you know, this will be very revealing number, so I'm repeating again. Which you, of course, Mr. Gupta must have presented. Yeah. But something interesting. Our freight gone up by 1344 percentage, 1344 percent. Passengers increased by 1642 percent. And route kilometers increased by 23 percent. Now tell me, if you want to consult, probably you can save a lot of millions of dollars of fees rather than hiring a consultant to understand the problem of railways is this. Very simple. If there is so much of increase in traffic, both of passengers and the freight, and the infrastructure increase only 